Hello, this is Grinstar, and today I am messing around with Rosette Fingerstyle, but today's goal is not to entirely mess around with this, but to kind of use some of the articulations that it has. This is a, a, and it has a whole bunch of articulations, so you can, you can play a string. Or you can do what I have behind here, I have some chords, so if I hit play. and boring uh what i want to do is over here they have these um if you if you can see by pressing it there's there's it shows down here this shows a down strum up strum so you can control the strumming on there uh so on these instruments you can turn go to strumming go to strumming mode and uh, what it does is it it turns off the strums but if you play this right here so So what I want to do is I want to I want to I want to kind of trigger the strums, but not via the traditional MIDI here. Uh, I want to do this in the grid. I want to kind of give it a little bit of randomness. I want to put it at 16, see what we can get, come up with some variations and rhythms uh, to to try to try to play around with it and try to get something kind of interesting. Um, and or when it's not strumming, use one of these variation of keys right here. Uh, and then send out just a particular key to send out instead of uh, instead of sending the traditional strum key. So you can choose any one of these. And basically, these change. What these do is they they pick uh, the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth uh, of the chord. So if I got I got uh, uh, three chords playing, that I can I can pick the the first three of the chords. So or the actually it's the six strings. Of the chord that I'm playing, <clears throat> if that makes sense. Um, you know, I, I like I like using these, and I, I don't play with them enough. So any chance to to get to to try to learn and use their articulations and get them embedded in my memory, I'm gonna do it. Uh, so that that's actually today's video is is basically I'm trying to both engage myself in understanding the grid. Uh, and learning um, how to do it in certain different ways, uh, as with most of my videos on this, uh, and get a chance to use the Rosette finger style uh, at the same time. So um, sounds pretty cool. Okay, so I'm in a note grid, and I got the note grid loaded right before contact. So basically, everything goes through these these the, these things here. Uh, so these are gates. These are uh, the uh, pitches that come in. So C one C the the actual MIDI notes. Um, these are the, I forget what the, oh, this is the, uh, velocity, so you can mess with the velocity, and this is the channel, so if you want to have things on different channels, you can mess with the channels. Uh, pretty, pretty straightforward. So, first things first, what we want to do is we want to have a 16, a, 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 something generate every 16, every 16th note. Uh, so we want, do we want to have something that, that, that goes every 16th note, and there is something that does that. Okay, so in triggers, it'll pulse every 16. Uh, this one will, I can set this to 16 over here, and I can do something on, on a 16th. I kind of want to do something every 16th note. Uh, so what I wanted to do is I want to, I want to send it, uh, G5, which actually makes it kind of interesting. Because of how the the grid works, I uh, I have to actually send input through here because it's expecting input. If I go down here, it turns it on. But something weird happens where it doesn't take the triggers. And 
I think it messes with it or something. It, it's it's uh, kind of weird. Um, but that's not going to stop me from doing what I want to do. Okay, so we have we have the basic the triggers. This is not meant to send out a MIDI, MIDI pulse every 16th, although I think we do want that. What we want to do is we want to make a decision every every pulse uh and that decision is whether or not to actually do the the g sharp five which if you remember is this one right here uh so what we want to do is we want to send that out or we want to do the the next one which is an a an a5 so that's uh down and upstream down and upstream right um, so that, that's what we're going for. So we want to, we want to have this send out a decision to either do this or this. So, uh, we know if, if you've been following along, you should, uh, these, um, select ends are perfect for the job. We go into here, go into here, and then you have to have, tell it what, what you want to do here. This is like a gate. It, it, it tells it whether or not it's the first one or second one. Uh, by a, 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 a pulse or a, 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 a off or on. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this random and we're going to have a chance coming in here. Uh, or we could do dice. And then saying for every every time we have a pulse, we may or may not do the, the thing. So now it goes up and down depending on the pulse. And the amount of times that it's going is still kind of too fast for this. So let, let's go to the let's go to this one, and then let's set here, 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 here. Okay, it sounds kind of robotic, obviously. Uh, we're, we're messing around with just doing these. Uh, normally, what you would do is you have some variation of um, velocity. And so we can mess with the velocity here and not just give an 80, 81. Uh, we could have humanized and, and give it uh, a, basically a humanized uh, thing in there. In fact, I think that's what we're going to do rather than... And this will help us with our robotic sounding. Uh, we could say chance, and then we could ramp up the timing and the velocity. Okay, so getting the sound a little bit better, probably not so so human. Uh, still, it's 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 either that or a really bad player uh, or or learner. Uh, so we can we can do a a bit on the the uh, dials here to try to mess with it a little bit better to to get uh, more feel into it. So on this strumming tab. You have a lot of. Hey, that's what I that's what got turned off by accident. I 
All right, what I want to do is I want to up uh, ramp up and down the strum speed a little, uh, make it a little bit random. Uh, so what you can do here is you have um, the strum speed map. Uh, right now it's mapped to velocity. We can change it to, to CC and we say uh, maybe a CC4. So we can send a control message CC4 down the uh, down range from here. Uh, so we know how we should know how to do that. Uh, we look for CC out. And we set this to four and we give it a, you can give it an LFO. We're gonna set this one to six, kind of the same, the same style. We're gonna, we're gonna do the the same thing. We're gonna copy this one down. We're gonna set this to six. We're gonna give it a different LFO, or maybe let's not do the LFO. Let's do curves. And I did something about the volume somewhere, somehow. Okay, so I think I found a contact bug. Uh, at least with this interaction, uh, which is quite sad, because because I wanted I wanted to, to to mess around with this a bit more. Uh, so if I press down a key, you can see the the thing going, and it, and it works perfectly fine. When I play it, you don't see anything over here. how the grids interacted with it or something but if I go and open up a Turia works perfectly fine as I as I wanted uh kind of kind of weird to, to be honest kind of really weird uh, I, I think it, it, I think it's an issue with contact, not with uh, um, the grid or the um, the instrument itself. Uh, it just seems really weird that contact can't accept a really weirdly placed MIDI, I guess. Uh, or basically, it's generated and it, and it doesn't like it. Um, I don't know, but but uh, looking at the the piano down here. Let me stop that. Like, it's not even showing the right keys that are pressed. There's probably something I'm doing. It's probably my fault, as usual. But it it it, uh, it just really seems really weird to me that uh, the 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 MIDI's not coming through correct enough. Uh, and it, it's kind of disappointing. Uh, it's kind of a cool concept. Kind of kind of weird. Kind of off ball. Uh, but um, it's it's kind of sad that the contact doesn't play well with this. Um, I probably want to see VCV rack or sometime some type of other. Uh, 
I think that messes with MIDI and seeing if it behaves that way. Uh, it may be an interaction between grid and uh, the uh, contact, uh, or it, it may be just contact. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it takes more explaining, but uh, this is kind of weird because because uh, basically there was a lot of behavior that I was losing over over just this simple kind of interaction. Uh, maybe contact doesn't like a, a stuff that's being sent as a 16th note. Uh, maybe it's it's more happy about um, eight. That is just super weird. Works perfectly well in, in uh, Arturia's piano, but does not does not work at all in contact. And the whole point was for it to work in contact, or I mean, uh, to to show it off in contact, so the the uh, guitars would. Uh, mess around with the strumming and, and get type, different types of strums to, to make it sound all wonky. Anyway, kind of disappointed. I'm sorry. Uh, the video didn't work out right. Uh, I blame contact. <laughs> anyway, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for listening, and I will catch you later.